For Gary Castle, it all began here 31 years ago. The town of Athlone was expanding and a small group of people felt a new GAA club was needed. The meeting place was Cornamaddy Primary School. We started from nothing. We didn't even have a set of jerseys. We won the junior championship in 1982 and 30 years later, we're heading for Coal Park on St. Patrick's Day. Our dream when we started out was to get a bit of land big enough just to fit in two pair of goalposts and play a game of football and, and uh, that was our dream then. Today, the school remains the epicentre of Gary Castle. Yes, there's a serious buzz within the team uh, it's training over the last while, even since the St. Bridges game has gone up uh, another notch or two. And it's a pity, I suppose, that they're only 24, you get to tog out in the day, and there's 10 or 12 lads there that'll make any team within this county that they won't even get to pull on boot, uh, a set of boots maybe on St. Patrick's Day, and maybe that's something that the GA might look at in, uh, coming down the line in the future. Anthony Cunningham, the Galway hurling manager, has guided Gary Castle to three in a row in Westmeath and one Leinster title. He's looking forward to the final challenge. Cross Plain has had huge success and with their style of play is, is brilliant really, and great tacklers and uh, great, great skill on the ball and they, they're, they're, they're who every, you know, everyone wants to beat Cross Plain and uh, we're looking forward to, to doing that for sure. It's been a remarkable 30 years when you consider that Gary Castle played in the Junior A Championship in 1982. 30 years later they're heading to Croke Park for the All-Ireland Club Senior Football Final. They are now just one hour away from ultimate glory. Martin Morrissey, RT News, 